Hello, I'm Frank from Hong Kong Team China. Now I'd like to talk about iPhone X solution class case number eighteen. This is case number eighteen, menu and boot loop. What does it mean? It means when you turn on the phone, and when menu show, when the 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 phone show menu, and then go boot looping. So this means menu and boot loop. What's the solution that go first? Three you to to see the battery data because if battery data not correct, it will cause boot loop. So that check it is correct or not. Look here. Three U two connect and check boot loop. How to check? Here, when you when the the you you check the battery information, it will show this picture. Show this picture, and then you click this one, the detail. Uh, click the detail, and then it will show this. And you check the data here, normal or not. If abnormal, it means battery data. Problem. How to see? Now look here. If battery life, this means battery life. Battery life. Okay. If battery life abnormal, for example, the percentage not show or show always one number will not change even when you are charging. So it is abnormal. How to do? Change battery, okay. Change battery. If not work, and then change battery connector J. Battery connector J three two zero zero. Look here. Battery connector J three two double zero. It's here. Change this one. Okay. Change this one. J three two zero zero. You see this one? Let's see. <coughs> this is battery connector. Click the function. It show here. Positive. These two, the detection line. This and this. So if these two not not normal, it will boot loop. Okay. So number. Three check battery. SWI. SWI means this detection line. Check battery connector boot. Uh, connector SWI pins ground resistance. This is the ground resistance 380, 370, and this one. Oh, sorry. This one, 500, uh, 650, 640. Check these two. If the resistance here abnormal, how to do? If this one abnormal, change this one. Q, this one. Q3200. Okay, let's see. This one Q3200. Okay, connect to this one. And check this one and connect to this one. MOSFET. Q3201. Let's see. Q3201. Okay. Q3201. Q3200. And you can see in the, the Logic. Okay, it's here. Q3200. This one is battery connector. It is I2C0. Okay. I2C0. As the data, this clock. Q3201. Q3200. These two are the battery detection MOSFET.
Okay. One, two. Okay. So check the resistance. Ground resistance. If abnormal change SWI line MOSFET. These two MOSFET. Okay. And the next one, if still not work, and then change USBIC U six three zero zero USBIC. U U six three zero zero. This one, change this one. Or check the pads. Check the pads ground resistance of the U six three zero zero. Let's see the okay schematics. It's here. This one is USBIC Hydra. Hydra. Okay, change it. Or change the charging IC, the Tigris U3300. U3300. This one. Yes, near CPU. Or check the pads ground resistance. Check the pads ground resistance. Zoom, zoom in. Yeah, you see this? Okay. To check which pad broken or which components job. Okay. Let's see. Check it. Check it. Charging. It is charging circuit. Look here. It is this one. Charging IC. This is the schematic about charger. Okay. Let's come back here. So for this for this problem we first check the 3u2 3u2 to check the the battery detection if still not work how to do dark flags with change dark flags with original one change the dark flex cable with one original because if the dark flex cable broken will cause timing Reset, restart, timing restart. Oh, if still not work, and then check panic full. Check panic full. How to check panic full? Do you know how to check panic full? If you don't know, now look here, I show you. So now look here for panicful. How to do that? See, we we will talk about how to do and the common codes. How to do? Look here. Look at these pictures. 
Panicful Analytics. Where to find Panicful? Settings, Privacy, Analytics, Improvement, and then Analytic Data, and then Panicful. Look for the Panicful. But remember, normal phone will not show Panicful, only restarting phone will show. So click the Privacy in Settings. And how to analyze Panicful? Open Panicful, open a file, and find Panic Gym. The words after it is the reason of restarting. Look, this is Panicful file. Here, the time, this is the restart time. And here, Panic Stream. Panic Stream shows the reason of restarting. For example, this one, WTD timeout. What does the code mean here? Don't worry, I show you all codes. Here shows the codes. I2C, if here shows I2C0, I2C1, I2C2, what does it mean for different CPU, right? And the fault, the IC, which I see problem which component problem here in a table and another table here different codes okay so when you get a code you check the table here it's easy right and what's the common codes look here common codes CPU 0 CPU 1 CPU 2, CPU 3, CPU 4, CPU 5. Different CPUs. It means CPU loose. So you have to report CPU. If it shows WDT, it means the battery problem. For example, this one. So check battery detection. This one, WTD timeout, right? So in this case, we check WDT. The, the battery detection lines SWI. If show I2C, look here, different I2C, right? Means different problem. You just check the table. It's easy, right? Okay, so that's all for this section. Case number 18 manual and boot loop. Thank you. Bye-bye.